You are watching Area DMG. Welcome back to Area DMG. I am your host, Will Wesley, the Mile High Mouth, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the Nintendo Switch. Or rather, the issues with the Nintendo Switch. Now, one of the issues is not the screen. This time around, they actually have IPS screens on all of the Nintendo Switch units, so that's a good thing. Um, it's a high quality IPS screen, capacitive touch, etc, etc. It's a great, beautiful screen, 720p, etc, etc, really good. But, part of this problem does actually have to do with the screen, or rather, with the dock that came with the screen. We're going to have to lighten this up just a little. Just slowly um, adjust our lighting. There we go. But yeah, let's talk a little bit about the dock that the system has. I've got like a uh, an image on here from the eShop. But yeah, let's talk a little bit about the cradle, the um, charging cradle and dock that comes with the system. Now, I've noticed a couple things about it. For example, let's go ahead and uh, show a little bit here of what I'm talking about. Okay, you see this right here, this little spring? When you line it up, there's like these little nubs that line up with the bottom of your Nintendo Switch and allow you to align it. That's pretty cool. There's also, you'll note, a heat vent here that matches up with the heat vent on the back of the system and then a fan right here that activates when the dock talks to the Nintendo Switch. But that's not actually the issue. One of the issues has to do with that screen. And when you pop it in here, like into the dock, you'll note that there is a little bit of give. Now, there, that little bit of give between there, it's held into place by a little bit of rubber right here. And then this is hard plastic. There's a little notch right here that's hard plastic that's been scratching on some units the bezel if you don't carefully put it into the dock. My suggestion is actually to go ahead and purchase a tempered glass screen protector for your new for your new Nintendo Switch. Okay? And the reason for that is because tempered glass works better with this. It protects against that better. It protects your system better. It's overall better, and a lot of the other types of screen protectors, depending on what the screen protector is made out of, when you pop this into the dock and it generates heat, because when you're running games like Mario Kart 8 or uh, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, you run hot. Essentially, this thing is like a, Wii, uh, a better spec than the Wii U, stuffed into a tiny, tiny case. Kind of magical, really, but... Uh, yeah, it generates heat. And when it generates heat, certain types of plastics and decals, for example, will react adversely, which means badly, to that. So when you go in, I just suggest, if you have to get a screen protector, Hori makes one that's pretty decent, but some screen protectors react adversely to the heat that this generates when it's in the dock, and it peels off. Now, that is not the case with tempered glass, and I actually recommend you do that. You can get tempered glass screen protectors. Make sure it's tempered glass. Do the research a little bit. Make sure it's tempered glass before you buy it. Because there are people who are like, oh, we're like tempered glass, but they're not. Make sure it's tempered glass. And get that. Take care of it. Why? Because this great, big, beautiful screen is a liability, and you don't want it to get damaged. Another thing you don't want to get damaged is the internals of the of the of the uh, system. Like you remember how I mentioned that there's a little heat sink there at the bottom. Well, the back of the system has two little heating vents right here. One, two, and when you're holding the system, you're not actually. Most people will not be blocking them. However, let's put this into uh, tabletop mode for a moment. Ah, you know, I don't really like tabletop mode too much because I 
I don't really like this kickstand that much. I think it was flimsy and terrible. And my SD card's there. I don't want that to pop out or get lost. I mean, it works in a pinch, but eh, it's inelegant. So, I was looking into various docks or stands for this system. Now, I have a bunch of these laying around. Rather, I have a bunch of these Nintendo 3DS stands, right? I have that. I have this Wii U stand. I have a little stand that came with Pokemon Teaches Typing. And I have some various phone stands laying around, right? These all look like they're an elegant solution, right? Oh, no, 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 no. All of these little stands, even this little tiny adjustable one, have a fatal flaw that can harm your Nintendo Switch. Remember those vents in the very back? If those vents are covered, proper airflow cannot go through the internals of the system. When it generates a lot of heat, well, you could fry the system. You could, you could, worst case scenario is the battery could catch fire or explode and everyone in the plane dies. No, I'm just kidding. Everyone in the house, the house burns to the ground, blah, blah, blah. It's a Samsung doomsday thing. Actually, that wouldn't happen because before this system would generate enough heat to be able to fry its own battery like that, it will most definitely fry the internals or cause horrible, irreversible screen damage to the back of the screen due to heat. You don't want that. Ever. That's an extreme case scenario, but still, you don't ever want that. You don't ever want to risk it. You don't want that to happen. Now, the majority of these, they look like they're great for that, right? But they all cover the back of the system, which is kind of a shame because I feel that they could have fixed that with this one by just maybe putting some holes or something in it, but the Nintendo 3DS didn't heat like that. I mean, this one here was the one I was like, oh, this would be perfect because I could just plug it in from here, which is kind of what, I, what I'd like to be able to do, is plug this into a dock and have it stay put, right? You could put the console battery in there and plug it in. I mean, everything else there worked looked like it worked okay, but I realized it was kind of running a little hot, and after checking more into it, realized, yeah, that's, that's a problem. Some of these were almost perfect. Like the one for the Wii U, while I wouldn't really recommend it, the one for the Wii U has a little bit of space where it doesn't, where it literally has the ability to properly get some airflow in there. It's not perfect, but it's not the worst thing. But these, these cover up about 80 percent, 75 to 80 percent of that backing of uh, that backing um, vent. And oh, you know what happens when you clog a heating vent? You get a Death Star scenario. The easiest way to fix this, though, is to get one of these or a mesh stand. I actually say that you should probably just go ahead and get the Hori stand. This is actually really good. This this particular um, play stand. And I'll go into why. Part of this is that, hey, if you want to keep your new Nintendo Switch in healthy condition, there's amperages and stuff to watch, but that's a little too complex for most people when they're like picking up extra batteries, etc, etc. But what people should do, first and foremost, get yourself a tempered glass screen protector. And then, get yourself a Hori play stand. I mean, this thing's almost as thick as the system, but oh my gosh. Here's, here's where it holds the system in place, which by the way, you see these little notches on the bottom? They actually line up with the system on the stand and it kind of locks itself into place. Not only does it lock into place, 
there are three different positions like this right here is on my it's like a desktop position essentially like if I'm standing above something like let's say you're playing one two switch you want to put this little stand up there which also by the way on this Hori stand which if you can track one of these down it is worth it I would sometimes you may have to actually import this particular stand it is so popular if you see it buy it I mean online the cheapest you're gonna get this is like forty dollars forty five fifty dollars it is insanely hard to find but it is definitely worth it and you should get one and not only does it lock it into place you've got this section here for like let's say you're playing one one two switch um, just generally sitting at my desk and playing and then this is what I'd call like a Netflix mode or whatnot and the whole thing folds down and is easy to store. This will also work with the new Nintendo 3DS, the new 3DS, and pretty much any of the DS family of systems. It will also work with various iPads or mobile phones or whatnot. But yeah, this particular playstand is the playstand to get. Yeah, I kind of like... Um, I am so looking forward to this game. That's going to be so awesome. Yeah, Mario Kart. Anyways, you want your system to be okay. And Hori actually included vent switches on this particular unit. So that, yeah, it lines up perfectly with the vents. It's got those little nubs to hold everything in place. And the cool thing about that, let's go ahead and line up those vents. Pop that up. Right that. It won't slip. You can move it. Nothing. It'll work in there nice and securely. And you can charge it while it's in the in the dock or in the play stand. Personally, this is my favorite device for this. And you, like I said, get tempered glass and then get yourself one of these play stands. It is worth the money. Outside of an additional AC adapter and maybe the Pro Controller and such, the Hori PlayStand is literally the one of the most essential items for the Nintendo Switch. I don't really like using that little kickstand there because the SDHC card is there and because I think it looks kind of flimsy. I'm just like, eh, yuck. But this fits on my desk perfectly, fits fine with the system. It'll fit in most of the accessory pouches that you can buy for this system. Perfectly fine. Best play stand. And best... Um, <sighs> best stand. Really, I mean seriously. It's perfect. And even like, let's say... Oh, actually one more thing. Aside from like, off-screen play, play, play um, one two switch, this would be good for like, Vos. V-O-E-Z, that type of game. Perfect. So yeah, get yourself one of these. And um, they actually do make something for people who are more who are really concerned about this and haven't got a screen protector yet. They're called Dock Socks. And they're kind of a gray market product now because everyone's making them. And they're not officially licensed. But it's a little thing that goes over this section. Many people have uh, put nice little graphics there. Oh, by the way, don't ever put decals on there most of the adhesive with the decals will rip the printing off of these. Like that little thing that says Nintendo Switch, it'll ruin the finish on these. This is a weird finish on these controllers and most decals will just rip that right off. And that's horrible. You want to protect your Nintendo Switch. I mean, you gotta love this, you gotta protect it. And you want it to last a long, long time because it is an expensive system. So my suggestion, look at, look into look at these things, take my advice, get a tempered glass screen protector, get yourself one of these play stands so you don't have to rely on that um, kickstand there, and um, maybe get one of those dock socks. Now, they'll cover this and they're fine. A lot of people actually have microfiber on them and that's really nice. If you're worried about that, you want to get tempered glass and then one of those. But yeah, make sure you don't cover up the back parts here 
where there's actually like the heating vents and such, like the um, fan intake and the other heated vent. But yeah, overall, if you've got a Nintendo Switch, be kind to your Nintendo Switch, be kind to it, be safe with it, just take care of it. So yeah, tempered glass, play stand. You may have to import a play stand because they're hard to find, they are pricey, but they are worth it. And let me know in the comments below if you've got any of those things or if you make dock socks. Hey, if you have an Etsy and you're making dock socks to put up here on your uh, Nintendo Switch, go ahead and put that in the comments. I will approve those types of little store links because they make sense for this video. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think and how you're keeping your Nintendo Switch, if you have one, safe and sound and away from worrisome dangerous problems and also let me know what you thought of the video hit that thumbs up hit that you know that like button hit that comment button let, let, let leave some feedback or whatnot hit that share button to let other people know about this hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and then hit that little bell so that you are notified whenever we have a brand new video and until the next video comes out you are now caught up.